Hello, epic viewers from around the multiverse. Prepare to indulge in experiencing sheer bliss because today another riveting Captain Stellar unboxing video is about to be brought to fruition. What items will I be unboxing? What items will I be opening? Without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to elicit the box. What items are encompassed inside this bulky, hefty, tangible, nifty box? Let's find out. I'm going to demystify the answer to the link right writer right now, so bear with me. It will only take me billions of microseconds to extract the items from the box and subsequently flaunt them in front of the camera for you to feast your glorious eyes on. Here we go. The unboxing process is about to commence. The unboxing process is officially underway. Alrighty. What items have I prompted? What items have I drawn forth? What items, what items have I elicited? Let's find out. Off the get-go, we have a plush of the one and only revered illustrious slam fist you could utilize it as a pillow if your head is minute and short in stature here he is up close let's move on followed by that plush we have ocula which i believe is a burger king toy Here's a figurine of Ocula. He has these suction cups, so he can be mounted to a window, apparently. I hope that the integrity of his grip has not been compromised. I love his aesthetics. I'm honing in on his eye. Or I should say, I love the aesthetics appertaining to his eye. I love his design as well. He's exquisite. He's unique. He's a novel figurine. He also has three legs. This figurine, I believe, was churned out by Hansbro. I believe his moniker is Nibble. He lacks any points of articulation. He's preposed. What a shame, what a pity, what a missed opportunity. I love his details. I love his sculpt. I love his shadings. I love his textures. He's a stupendous figurine. He emulates Nibble from the Small Soldiers film. I believe this character was featured within that flick. You can verify that for yourself. He may have not spewed a single word from his vocal foes. Nonetheless, the figurine still has merit. I love the Small Soldiers movie, so I have a proclivity to love Small Soldiers merchandise. Next we have a Burger King figurine of um, Punch It and his comrade Scratch It. They're attached to one, to one another. Unless you cut off Scratch's legs, you won't be able to separate the two. There will never be a, a divergence between them. Is it divergence? Yeah, sorry about the blunder. There'll, there'll never be a divergence between them. Who knows? I need to stop focusing on semantics and move on. He only has claws protruding out of one hand. He has three points of articulation. Is he a shoddy figurine? Well, he's hollow on the inside. I wouldn't deem him to be a high quality figurine by any means, but he still has a bit of merit for a Burger King figurine which is not saying much next we have the one and only infamous ominous audacious Dr. Frankenstein this is moniker Dr. Frankenstein I did not know I believe so let me just verify his name real briefly. I 
His name is an enigma. I should be able to find it somewhere. I think it's Dr. Frankenstein. No, I think it's Dr. Frankenstein. Is it? I'm flustered. I'm baffled. I'm discombobulated. Okay, I guess his name is Frankenstein. So sorry about the blunder earlier. Hopefully I've rectified the issue. He's a blue Gorgonite. His body is impaired. He utilizes cybernetics to augment his fighting capabilities. He wields a dagger and a club. He has a button in the back. You can trigger his um smash and club action at your own discretion. Or I should say you could trigger his club smash and action at your own discretion. Maybe that sounded a bit more efficacious. His appendages can be detached at your own discretion. Not a bad figurine. How many points of articulation does he have? Let's see here. I think he has four. He lacks articulation in the knee joints. He lacks articulation in the elbows. He lacks a diaphragm joint. So he only has a finite amount. He only has a finite amount of points of articulation. Or I guess you could say. I guess you could say his articulation is finite, rather than saying he has a finite amount of points of articulation. So here he is once again. I love his nitty gritty details. I love his design. I love his deco. He's an intricate, robust, stellar, stupendous, marvelous, divine, exquisite, novel, unique figure. Does he have a charismatic personality? No. He seems to be relatively agitated and infuriated. That's what I can recollect from over a decade ago. Is he a bit grumpy, perhaps? Is he experiencing contempt, perhaps? Is he jubilant, buoyant, and gratified? I would presume that he is not. His outlook on life may be pessimistic. It may not be optimistic. So, finally, last but not least, we have another Gorgonite. This was churned out by Hasbro in the late 1990s. What's this moniker? Is it... I'm not going to make any guesses here. Let's look it up just to err on the side of caution. I believe it's Flatchew. I don't even know if that's pronounced correctly. Who knows? Who cares? It's trivial nonsense. Alrighty. He can wield an axe, he can sever his adversaries, he can beat them to a bloody pulp, he can trounce them in combat, he can maul them to death, he can go irate and ravage anyone who opposes him. He can launch a projectile from his back, he can smite his adversaries. He has five points of articulation, more than the other aforementioned figurines. His head is not relegated to a disjoint. He lacks ability to swivel his wrists. He cannot perform an ankle pivot. He cannot swivel his thighs, nor can he swivel his calves. He cannot perform an ab crunch. He cannot rotate his biceps. 
he can't ascend or descend his head. So his articulation is finite as well. I would have preferred if these figurines had at least 15 points of articulation, if not significantly more. But they're not abysmal by any means. They're hefty, they're sturdy. I have no major gripes appertaining to this purchasing decision. I knew what I was getting into amid purchasing these figurines. I procured them via eBay. They're practically unscathed. They're not marred with scratches or scuffs. Their appearances are not impaired by dings or dents. They're in excellent condition. If you're an avid devout small soldiers fan, then I would recommend procuring these figurines. You can't go wrong. The Burger King small soldiers figurines aren't in bad either. They have some merit to them. Of course, that's my subjective opinion. Yours might be disparate from mine. And if your opinion is disparate from mine, please feel free to convey it via the comment section beneath this video. The punch it figurine apparently can launch a rock. A plastic rock that I lost. Much I never received from the seller. I also love this um, character. His lore is an enigma. He seems to be quirky. Is he shrewd? Is he astute? I doubt it. Is he asinine? Ridiculous? Ludicrous? Deranged? Senile? Possibly. And then of course you have the flam. This plush, plushie which isn't a bad plushie either. Why do I say this? Because he embodies a plushie of slam fist. I love how this figurine is adorned with technology. Or I guess you could say adorned with a design that's supposed to embody cybernetics. Or technology related implants that sounded uncanny and awkward but um you get the point in other words i love his design let's just say that let's keep it simple so to give you a synopsis about my final thoughts appertaining to the lot i would like to notify you that i believe that the figurines are meritorious i love them they're novel they're exquisite they're stellar why do i say this well Two of them are at least six inches tall, so they coincide eminently. So they coincide eminently well with the prodigious six-inch action figure collection. Furthermore, they have amazing details. I love their aesthetics. I love their hues. I love their novelties. Their seam lines aren't very noticeable. They don't really bother me too much. I just love their uniqueness and their novelties, down to the nitty gritty details. I mean, look at this figurine. Have you seen another figurine that looks akin to him in any facet? He has a leg dangling out of his right arm socket and an arm dangling out of his right leg socket. He literally has an arm connected to his pelvis. So, these figurines are not bad. The, um, his little skirt is comprised of plastic, possibly PVC plastic. It cannot be flapped. These figurines have tremendous intrinsic value. That's my perception. That's my outlook. That's my interpretation. 
of these figurines merits. As I said earlier, I'm infatuated with the Small Soldiers movie, so I have a proclivity to love Small Soldiers merchandise, I have a propensity to love Small Soldiers action figures, therefore I'm inclined to love these figurines, even if they have minor defects. Fortunately their appendages are intact, they have yet to become dismembered or severed. At least they're cohesive figurines. This one in particular has symmetry. Same with this one. This one, not so much, right? We have two sides that are disparate from one another. But I love their unique features. I love their qualities. They certainly have merit, so we'll just end it on that. We'll end it on a positive note. I recommend and advocate procuring them if you can stumble upon them for under $40 via eBay. So for under $40, I have no qualms about procuring five small soldiers, figurines, and a plushie. That's everything I wanted to divulge and spew from my vocal folds. I hope that you found this video to be intriguing and enthralling. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.